During Tom's illness, Liam offered to step in to fulfil some outstanding tour commitments with the Clancy Brothers Mark II, alongside Paddy, their other warm and easygoing brother Bobby, and their nephew, Robbie O'Connell. We all did notice that Paddy started acting very, in a very peculiar manner. He started picking terrible fights with Robbie, who used to do all the driving. Paddy kept reverting to old highways that, and routes that he used to travel when he was a young fella. And I knew there was something peculiar. It turned out that he had a brain tumor. And his whole mood, everything, was swinging, you know. I mean, Paddy was well into his 70s at that point. But anyway, uh, we decided to do a last tour. We did a farewell tour of Ireland. It's out there on the team. This last and truly final tour was to descend into a sea of acrimony and financial dispute. Nobody was talking hardly to anybody. It was just fragmented. That was the end of it. And Bobby called me up one evening and he said, look, he said, we only go through once. He said, we can't, we can't keep this up. He said, we're going down tonight, down to Mooney's, down in Ring. We'll be in the small side of the pub. Paddy and his wife, and my wife, and myself, and just the family. Why don't you come down? I went down. I said to Paddy, how are you? said, as good as can be expected. You have a drink? I said, yeah. Had a couple of drinks. So we sing a song for old time's sake. Oh, whiskey is the life of man. Always was since the world began. And off we went, you know, into a night of singing. Uh, he was going home that night. Uh, we hugged each other and said, Life is too short, brother, isn't it? To keep up any kind of hostility. He said, yeah. He's far too short. He said, I love you, you know that. He said, I love you. And uh, a week later, my eldest sister died. And uh, went down to the funeral parlor, kissed her cold for it. Paddy and Bobby and I and my sisters and within five days Paddy was lying in that same funeral parlour went and kissed his cold forehead Oh the summer time is coming and the trees are sweetly the wild mountain time rolls around the blooming heather. Will you go to see go all together? And we'll all go together to blow away.
I went out on my own and found the old nerves coming back. Start taking a drink to ease the nerves. Then try and go on the following night. And the hangover made you more nervous. You took a little, another sip to slug to, to calm you down. I wish I was in Carrick Only for nights in Valley Grand. And the next thing I found myself going the route of Brendan Bean. You had to have a drink. And uh, it took me a long time to face the fact that I was an alcoholic. That it had taken me over. My love to find. But the sea is wide. And I can't swim on And neither have I wings to fly Fortunately, I, wish I, um, I had a great wife who said to me, you know, I'll take care of you if you if you face the fact that uh, alcohol owns you and the person we're living with is not you, it's somebody else. And I went into hospital and uh, I remember a thing your doctor said to me, he said, uh, how do you want to be remembered? As a singer? Entertainer? Or as a drunk? I said I think the former. I haven't had a drink since. Some quiet and private times were to follow at home in Ring. Liam began to write, memoirs and stories mostly, and soon, with his newfound sobriety and his abundant thirst for life resurfacing again, he was once more back on the road, reclaiming his old audience while discovering a new one. It's a road that he's still travelling today. Sure. 